Similar to the arc bass lines, the circle bass line has two forms, circle CW and circle CCW. CW stands for clockwise and the letters sit on top of the bass line and read in a clockwise direction. CCW, no surprises, stands for counterclockwise and the letters sit at the bottom of a logo and read in a counterclockwise direction. The baseline could be called circles and ellipses as it produces both. The method of creating each is the same except for an extra click of the mouse for an ellipse. A circle has one radius and an ellipse has two, an X and a Y radius, therefore the extra click. The process is to click the center point of the proposed circle. In this case, I would like to add lettering around the top of a ball. Here is a tip for you to locate the center of the ball. Make sure True View is turned off, select the object you wish to surround the letters with, and make sure the grid is turned on. Notice my 0, 0 lines are here and here. Left click, hold and drag in the corner of the ruler to relocate the 0, 0 point at the center of the ball using the crosshair and the midway handles of the selected object. Now you have an accurate center point to work from. You could, if you wished, turn the stitch view off and view the vector lines only. Now create your letters. Select the baseline and click on the Create Text button. Left click and release at the center point. Move the mouse out to the required radius, left click and release and hit the Enter key. If you want the letters to go to the bottom, simply select the letters and then the counterclockwise baseline. To create the counterclockwise baseline from the beginning, choose the baseline and follow the same procedure as for the clockwise baseline. Ellipses. Establish the center as we did before. Turn off True View, select the ellipse, then left click and hold and drag the corner of the rulers so the crosshair lines up with the middle handles of the object. Choose the same circle baseline, either CW or CCW, depending on the type of ellipse you need. Click once in the center, then drag to the right to the X radius. Click and release. Then push up to the Y radius. Click and release to create the baseline and generate the letters. Thanks for watching.